Good morning, y'all. We are close to the beach and the peach vibes are starting to take over, but we're actually gonna head City Center Fantique for one more restaurant. I wanna go and eat some cum guy at a spot that's supposed to be absolutely delicious. It's gonna be a quick trip though, cause I wanna get right back out here close to the water. We're then gonna go for a hot pot that is a special here in Fantique. And that being said, it's time to get some breakfast. I'll meet you City Center in Fantique. And we made it, we're back here at Kum Gai Hang Hung. Very famous for the Kum Gai, but if you look here, I mean, almost looks like a Kum Bin Young. I mean, the options here, I mean, they're pretty deep. So probably gonna get a little more than just a Kum Gai. Cause this is first meal. And your boy hungry. <laughs> Cái này là nước sốt đấy. À đúng rồi, sốt me đó. Sốt me, ờ. And of course you can't be a lunch stall without your rice and they got two huge pots. I'm sure they're going to keep refilling. They got one which is just their steam rice and the other which is actually their famous chicken rice. Rồi, từ từ trước khi chị dọn các bạn. Okay, so I had the owner show up and she decided it wasn't just gonna be a light lunch, it's gonna be a lunch feast. So I went through and I ordered, I got the gum guy, of course, but then I got their actually cooked eggplant in a salt man, so it'd be a tamarind sauce. Then I had to get the cough out with the mum nim and then the mum chung, you know, I always get it. I like to try it everywhere. And then the kanko kwai, which is the bitter melon stuff in the soup form. And then she's like, no, 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 no. You gotta get the pork ribs. So I got the pork ribs with a side of vegetables. Looks like it's gonna be the kaori squash, which is just kei su su, and some carrot. And the most thing I'm most excited about is I got both types of rice. I got the regular steam, and I got the actual chicken rice. And it just keeps coming. This lady's too friendly. She just gave me a salad of rau kangkua. Sorry, I don't know English. <laughs> but it actually came from her farm. All the vegetation they use here comes from her farm. So not only is she the owner of this restaurant, but she has a strawberry farm, which yes, of course, we have some strawberries for dessert. She has a coconut farm. She has all types of different rau that she uses here in the restaurant. Now, I knew I was due for a rice mill. I just didn't know it was gonna be like this. Now, most people may want to go for the chicken first, but actually the rice is just as important to me, so get a little bit of that sauce on there and try it out. Mm. So when they make this, when they cook the chicken, they take all that broth and then cook it with the rice. And it's transformed to it a lot. You get a nice, salty, intense chicken flavor coming from it, a little bit oily. This rice, so I love the rice because it's a little bit stickier, a touch of sweetness. Definitely a nice sweetness coming from the sauce. The ginger spice isn't too much. It's just like a nice subtle afterburn. I guess I should have tried the rice by itself. Mm. The texture on that rice is why I would come here. It's like slightly addicting because you know me, I love sticky rice, but it's not too heavy on the stomach. I feel like it still eats light, like a nice steamed lunch rice. But yeah, you can't have chicken rice without the chicken. So let's go in. Juicy, tender, chicken meat, cooked perfectly, not dry. The skin, not too much fat. I don't really like too much fat in my chicken, but you get just enough to have a little chicken go a long way. But for me, I love that rice. And if you got good rice like that, I'd come back time and time again. This is what the boss lady recommended, so I definitely want to just go in first bite, money bite, sauce, rice, and some of the meat. Follow that up a little bit, the coyote squat. <laughs> I'm still just in love with the rice. Even the plain rice here doesn't have the chicken flavor because you're not cooking it with the broth. 
from the chicken, but it's the consistency. The fact you get that little bit of chewy sticky from a sticky rice, but doesn't sit heavy on the stomach. I'm literally in love with it. And then the sauce, the umami, it's sweet. And then at the end, we'll hit you with a kick of black pepper. I can't neglect the mom nim mom cow fowl anymore. Mm. That is what I've been craving. That is the first mom nim or mom or whatever I've had that hasn't been diluted by too much sugar. That has the funkiness that I want and I've been craving. A massive cough out, a crunchy, and a little bit of spice. Mmm. So pretty much what mum chung is, I call it like a Vietnamese casserole, but way better. You take a fermented fish product like mum kalin and mix it with a bunch of ground pork meat. You can throw other ingredients in there. Hers clearly has some type of noodle, mushroom. You see chilies hanging out in there. And then when you steam it, you'll actually pour egg yolk on top to finish it off. Really soft, steamed it, got that height in it. You see, it passes the jiggle test for me. I like more mum kalin, which is okay. I'm sure most people probably don't want as much as me, so I'm always a little bit picky. What I'm actually gonna do is take a little bit of the mum nim, pour it on top, and eat it. Problem solved. So what they do is they grill it and they're gonna layer it with mohan, which is a scallions fried in oil. And then they ladle that sauce on there, which is a tamarind sauce. Mm. Mm. The smokiness from the grill infused into it a little bit. It's creamy. The salt mat is a perfect call. Wasn't sure about the sweet and sour. It does work well. The fried scallions and oil on it. Ooh. I just need some rice. And my choice of soup always, always, forever and forever will be the bitter melon stuff of me. Oh, a massive hunk bitter melon. Great lunch spot. The only problem I have with is the name. Do not think they are only a chicken rice spot. They got a lot of delicious stuff here. Uh, yeah, hello. 22 years in business, taking the effort to give you rice that's that delicious. That rice was special. And then having the kofau, having the pork rib was delicious, the eggplant, it's all good, but those things are just on another level. Definitely come check this place out. Gotta be a good local spot because it's packed in here now. But like I said, didn't know if I was gonna, the boss lady treat me like her son. We're gonna have to nap this one off before the next spot. So this is rare for me, we came back to a restaurant. But we're back here because the seafood's really good and they're gonna help us out. They're gonna show us a very special hot pot, the Lao Ta, which is the hot pot of Fanti and Muy Nha. And it's a simple order, Lao Ta, and we're actually back here in the kitchen. We're gonna watch them prep it. Not much prep work, but this hot pot is known as a dipping hot pot in English. And we're gonna watch them prep it because when they when they get it ready, it's really back mat. It's just beautiful to look at. Yo, the order came in and it was all hands on deck. This is being made at speed. Nook soap. Nook soap, Yeah, yeah. And then a camai? Yeah. 
Okay, so they were plating the raw fish, which is the kamai, which would be a white sardine. And then you got the ladies running the burner. She's actually making the broth for the hot pot. And that is some high heat over there. That is an intense burner. So from what I understand from this hot pot, it's like a dipping hot pot. For the kamai, all you want to do is dunk it in there like you do those thin strips of beef at a different hot pot just for a few seconds, pull it out and eat. Definitely don't want to overcook that. Cheers, it's been a while. So, I mean, this is kind of a tiny hot pot. It gets ready fast. I'm gonna take that lid off or I get my sauce ready to go. And to me, bandai right here is always pre-meal snack. Tomato, sweat down onions, nice and sour, sweet. It's gonna be nice with seafood. So I'm actually just going to try the fish first. <laughs> and it's done, it's literally two seconds. Delicious, but I knew it was already because I've had it in its raw version. I could just sit here and eat this off that plate, but you get in that actual broth, very thick, hearty. More tomato flavor coming from it than tamarind. I don't even sure it has any tamarind. It's a very tomato rich, sweet, sour broth that just coats the fish. Now we can't ignore all the other ingredients. Almost like a little jackass style in Hanoi. You're gonna take your little bowl, add all the ingredients, dip the fish, mix it all, and eat it. And try not to eat all these. I can't see it's the dumbest thing I've ever done, but why do I always, like every time I have a bowl or like a banchang you're supposed to wrap, why do I feel like you have to overload it? Is that a personal thing or is that, so, is that everybody? Late addition to the party. It was so good last time, get some more of the razor clam, but this time in just a garlic sauce. I got everything but the pork. I'm actually gonna throw the pork in the broth and let that cook later. It just reminds me of like a tomato soup back home my grandmother would make me when I was little. You get all the ingredients together. It works together well. For me, I feel like I just like the fish raw too. Like I want to use the broth to put in here and put the fish on top of here raw and eat it. I think it's just more tender, more flavorful, and I just appreciate it for it like this. Mm. But one of my favorite things ever, the razor clam here. Whoa, let me tell you something. Those razor clams in the butter and garlic, that was a clutch time order. It's one of the best things I've eaten here. Ooh. You can't just eat the lao cai here. You get this, you get something else. And you kind of put it all together in this bowl. We about to get a little crazy in here and start mixing and matching and creating a little money bite after money bite after money bite. Now, I'm all for this. I think it's cool. I like the concept. It's very communal. You're making your own bowls, but it should be one of many orders. I think you gotta get some butter, garlic, razor clams. You gotta get some other things. You could take that sauce and put it in here because this right here, don't get me wrong, it's delicious tomato based, but uh, it does just remind me of my grandma's tomato soup. For me, I like some other things. Maybe get some mombrook, some mom nim, something else to go with this. Get a few other dishes, some more things you can put in this bowl. It's not about what's going in here. It's about what's going in here and into here. Mm.
Oh my, oh my, oh my. Beepa did it again. The Lao Thai. Fun, but for me, that the seafood there is so delicious. You just gotta get things like, it's like the, the razor clams and garlic and butter. And just, wow, I just think they do seafood so well there. The, if you haven't had that hot pot, you need to try it. But for me, I go there, you gotta get the seafood. And I didn't think I was gonna finish all that. That lunch was so big. I didn't think we was gonna make it. But y'all, we made it. A relaxed day today, only two places. We got one more coming from Fantique, Muigné. Gonna be a good travel day today. Start early, so I'm looking forward to it. Hope you are as well. So Max, catch you at the next video. Peace.